What's up, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome back to NASCAR Heat Evolution Career Mode. Race number 16 on the NASCAR schedule. 16, yeah, race number 16 on the race car, uh, NASCAR schedule. As we're here in Wine Country at the Sonoma Raceway for the running of the Toyota St. Mark 350. After a 22nd place finish in Michigan, which we flew through the field from 40th to 22nd. Uh, as you can see, we got a new sponsorship. If you didn't guys didn't tune in to Michigan, I, I uh, suggest you guys go watch it. With that being said, uh, we got the pole here in Sonoma, so very interesting. We were about half a second ahead of the field. So let's get this underway as we start on the pole for here in Sonoma. And let's get this race going here in Sonoma. Side by side off turn 11, but we're going to pull ahead Ryan Newman and we're going to take the lead here. Here in Sonoma, was, we lead lap one after a great battle with Ryan Newman. Um, the start of the race, he just got a great start on me and I wasn't able to get anywhere around him. So he did a good job on the start of the race, but now we're out in front looking to pull away. Pulling away from the field, you guys. <coughs> yeah, right here in turn 10 and turn 11 last time, by we were just way faster than Ryan Newman. Six laps to go. A one eighteen. This race belongs to us. We have had the best race car in practice. We had a great qualifying. Obviously, started on the pole. Just looking to finish the race weekend with the win. <coughs> and we're only three and a half seconds up on Ryan Newman. Just let's my goal, just hit our marks. Fine. All right, going down to sharp turn 11. But well, we're at a road course, anything can happen. Here we go, guys. Five laps to go here in Sonoma. Looking for my third win of the career mode. Alright, let's, we got a five second lead, let's not make a mistake, like I said, 
I just gotta hit my marks. We went at Bristol and Martinsville earlier in the year. doing a good job trying to stay at pace but <coughs> oh or oh, shot the corner but that's okay we got a big lead just being a little conservative not trying to overdrive it but we overdrove turn 11 there so four laps to go Patient, impatient here. Three laps to go. <coughs> oh man, we're attaching the end of the uh tail end of the field here on board Somebody's coming down here. Oh, Big Kennedy! Oh, I'm gonna get the wall. Oh no, I got damage to the front of the race car. Oh, and I got the caution flag out. Oh man, that's why I don't like using the cockpit view. And I just overdrive it. I, I, the car coming down pit road. Got me a little worried, and then I was just driving hot. I wasn't expecting the guys to break that soon. Obviously, coming to the tail end of the field with six laps into the race is not really a good idea or a good sign of how slow they were. So, I got the Ben Kennedy caution flag out here in Sonoma. And it's going to give these guys an opportunity to catch up. And I, I, I have a bad arrow, so I don't know how this race is going to go now. <coughs> I hit the wall trying to get it turning and I just couldn't turn I besides getting the back of Ben Kennedy I also hit the wall head on that's great so caution here in Sonoma and a potential win could be gone
All right, so here we go, guys. Green, white, checkered. Here it's the number one attempt. Two laps to go. Oh, we're gonna throw got a decent restart. Yeah, our radar, radiator don't look too good. Arrows at about 30% damage. We gotta check out, guys. I don't know how the car is gonna start overheating soon and we're gonna be struggling with power. I don't have no idea. It doesn't look like the engine is in bad shape. It shows that the engine is still in good shape. Well, it looks like we're going to be able to win this race after all. These guys are not able to... I mean, they're staying with us a little bit more, but they're not able to really challenge me. I get through turn 11 real good. Coming to the white flag here in Sonoma. Last lap. Last lap. Looking for my third one of the season. <coughs> oh, almost drove off the race course there. And I'm going to lose a ton of track position. Only two seconds ahead of Ryan Newman and three seconds ahead of Kurt Busch. Caution flag comes out and the race is official. I win here in Sonoma under the caution flag. All right, we get the win. Um. <coughs> Got the win here in Sonoma. Good race, but man, that caution flag. I mean, we. Uh, I mean, I, that was my fault. What happened? I didn't brake check right, and I didn't slow down fast enough. As Brad Keselowski finishes in 40, and Chase Elliott in 39. So a tough day for those guys, but we get the big win here in Sonoma. And we are going to have a strong payday. 61,000 in payday. So we get a lot of points as we pick up our third win of the NASCAR Heat Evolution season. Grimmos, we head up back to 15th in points after our strong run. So we get the checkered flag here in Sonoma. <coughs> So I said the fastest lap at a 118.68. I led the most laps at 11 laps. Uh, Chase Briscoe was the biggest mover to race start at 40th, finishes 27th. And Chase uh, had the tough break, started 23rd, finishes 39th on the race. Yeah, that accident in turn 11, I, I wasn't expecting those guys to check up so quickly. And that's what hurt me. <coughs> but uh, at the end of the day, got our third win of the season. Very happy about that. Very uh, strong. I feel happy about that win. Um, almost in it shortly after getting that arrow damage that bad. But with that being said, great win there. But ladies and gentlemen, up next is we hit the near halfway point here in the career mode here in Next Crazy Evolution. We head back to Daytona for the Coke Zero 400. The night race. Uh, fireworks, July 4th weekend. So with that being said, I hope to guys see you at Daytona. Thank you guys for watching. I'm Houghton Evolution. Like, comment, and subscribe. And I'll see you guys later.